What sticks to mind coming from the gospel text or reading today is Jesus' last remark about changing one's mind later, okay, which actually refers to the son in the gospel reading who said no, but then went to the farm. But it's not only about him, but also about the other son who said yes, but did not go, which is the exact opposite. Now, I remember, I think, some time ago, I shared with you something like uh, uh, an, an important Italian proverb or saying that goes this way. Between saying and doing is an ocean. No? Na ako no'y dagat, na ako no'y lawom nga lawod between saying and doing. And this is one significant point we can actually t use as our reflection, especially in the season of Advent. Because saying is one thing, doing is another thing. And the sincerity of one's words can only be tested whenever that word is put into action. Of course, we're talking about good deeds. Now, the, the ocean between saying and doing is actually a reflection and an invitation to listen before we do things. That's why after we say, some, we say the word, we have to listen to what we have said. Kay usahay magpataka rata o yaw yaw unya. There's no connection at all to what, is, what, sh what should be done. And the Advent season is practically an opportune time for us to do the reflections and the listening that we need to precisely because this is a moment to really absorb and embrace into our hearts the Word made flesh, the incarnate Word. What He says to us when we embrace it in our hearts and we struggle in order to make that particular message and that particular requirement of sorts. Okay, needs a lot of planning. And this recalls to mind, if you remember a very familiar, what we call parable that Jesus said, no one builds a building without first counting or considering the necessary materials and the amount that is needed. Kay makauaw man, kung magsugod unya dili mahuman. Nor there is no king who wants to go to a war without first planning. So na adi ay, in this ocean, which is between saying and doing, happens listening and reflecting. And you know, the ocean is very much like that. Even if it is calm or it is not really calm, you know, that's the time when we hear, when we listen, when we consider. And so also with our attitude in praying. Because praying is not just saying words. Praying is also listening. Because whatever we pray, whatever we desire, what our intentions are, should have a particular dimension in the actions that we do. And because of this, change is not only happening outside when we do something good, but first, that change also happens from deep within us. The change that we can do physically and that can be seen by people is a reflection of the change that is happening from deep within us. And so as we continue with this Eucharistic celebration and go deeper into the dimension of the season of Advent, it's already the third week of Advent, we have to embrace and confront ourselves as we continue to accept the Lord, His message, and the deeds that he, have done, he had done for us to be shown outwardly for others as well. Not just to see, but to experience that he is present right in our midst. Amen. It is often that we do not clearly understand God's plan for us. Let us now ask God the Father that we may know his will 
and fulfill them. And so we say, Lord, guide us. Lord, guide us. That the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may have the courage and strength to respond generously in guiding the faithful under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, guide us. That as a community, we may base our lives on the mercy and compassion of Christ and not on pretentious attitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, guide us. That in our own lives, we may be honest and sincere and respond to the will of God with unquestioning obedience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, guide us. That the sick and the brokenhearted may experience the love and compassion of Christ in those who take care of them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, guide us. That the dead may experience everlasting joy in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, guide us. Heavenly Father, pour out your grace upon us. Help us to carry out the promises we make with a sincere heart. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. 